Well, we've been studying what Americans think about climate change for about 15 years now. And we have, uh, in a series of national surveys, found the same thing over and over again, that a very large majority of Americans agree on this issue. They believe the planet has been heating up, that it's caused by human action, that if nothing is done to stop it, the consequences are going to be undesirable. And they want government to take action on the issue. There is remarkable support uh, in the range of 70 to 80 percent on many issues um, for policies that would address this issue uh, by reducing emissions in various ways, uh, including a cap and trade policy, cap and dividend policies, um, and mandates of various other sorts. There are two policies Americans do not like, and those are taxing gasoline and electricity simply to induce people to use less of them. Uh, that does not appeal to people, and they're much more interested in government taking action to see to it that homes, appliances, the generation of electricity, and all of our other activities consume less energy, and that emissions are reduced as a result. Americans strongly support policies to reduce our oil consumption, our energy consumption, but they're opposed to policies that increase prices. And that kind of drives the environmentalists and the economists crazy. The first thing they want to do is raise the price. Uh, but it turns out that if you analyze these markets carefully, um, the public is right. The best policy for approaching and reducing energy consumption is not to increase prices because there are all kinds of market imperfections. Price signals don't work that well in energy markets. What you really want to do is adopt efficiency standards which require uh, automakers or uh, uh, home builders, appliance manufacturers, to bake energy efficiency into their appliances. Consumers know that that increases the price of the appliance a little bit, but it turns out it lowers the energy cost so much that um, they end up spending less on the total bill. And that's what consumers care about. They don't care about the price of energy. They care about the bill.